G'day YouTube. I've recently downloaded a standalone application and I wanted to check if it had execute permissions on it. So I'll show you guys that through the terminal. So let's just say we uh, navigate to where it is. I'm actually already at the desktop, so that, that's fine. Uh, if we type in ls-l for list, we'll see a whole list of uh, everything here, and similarly as we would with uh, just a list command, but the dash l shows all the permissions here. And if we look across to here, we can see that's the file there, they're the same, and we can see that there is actually no execute permissions. So usually it would have an X here, here, and here, but uh, in this case, not so much. Now let's try that again after giving it execute permissions, just purely for educational purposes. So I'm going to right click, on the, uh, the file, allow executing files a program, and close that. Let's see what happens this time if we were to issue the exact same command. So it gets a bit messy here, but here was my previous command. I could see that uh, it was didn't have execute permissions because it didn't have the X's there. Uh, here we are again, down the bottom. Uh, this time you'll see in Ubuntu it does show up as a, uh, a green, which is great, execute permissions. And we'll see now it has X, X and X. Now I guess uh, probably not really going to get into that, that too much with this video. I just wanted to show you quickly how to find the execute permissions. But the first set of RWX is pretty much stands for the uh, the owner of the file. The second set pretty much stands for the uh, members of the group of the same owner of the file. And the third one is pretty much everybody else. So now if I were to double click this, it would run. Uh, a moment ago, uh, before I actually did the uh, remove or rather add the permissions, it just of course it wouldn't have run. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, actually some of you guys might be wondering what this little dash at the front is or the D. D just stands for directory. You can see that's a, a D dire uh, directory there and uh, dash just stands for a regular file. It's not a directory. There is also a third case, uh, something called an S, which we don't see here, but it stands for special file. Again, not something I'll get into too much, but this is just a short and concise video, not that concise, to show you guys how to check to see if you have ex uh, execute permissions on a file. Cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed.